हेलो फ्रेंड्स टुडे वी विल लर्न मल्टी व्यू स्टैंडर्ड कंट्रोल इन ई एस पी डॉट नेट मल्टी व्यू कंट्रोल इन ई एस पी डॉट नेट एक्स इज द कंटेनर फॉर ग्रुप ऑफ व्यू कंट्रोल यू कैन सी दी ओल्ड व्यू इन अंगल मल्टी व्यू कंट्रोल इन सिंगल वेब पेज मल्टी व्यू कंट्रोल अलाउज यू टू डिफाइन अ ग्रुप ऑफ व्यू कंट्रोल वेयर ईच व्यू कंट्रोल कंटेन्स अ चाइल्ड कंट्रोल सो लेट स्टार्ट विद एग्जाम्पल इन दिस एग्जाम्पल यू नीड टू एड अ मल्टी व्यू कंट्रोल and inside a multi view control i am adding two view view 1 and view 2 inside view 1 i want to display a calendar so add a calendar control here and inside the view 2 i want to display a login control so add a login control so i added my two views and this is the design part of that see now there is a important property active view index active view index is a zero base index that denotes the active view if no view is active then the index is minus 1 so by default the value of active view index is minus 1 it means what if now i will run my application with the value of minus 1 it will not display anything on browser so if i want to show some view on the browser i need to change the value of this active view index if the value is active view index will be 0 it will display the view 1 and if the active view index is value changed to 1 it will display the view So by default, I am setting its active view index to zero. It means if now I will run the application, it will display the view one. Means it will display the calendar. But I want to change the views according to the user's choice. So I can take a help of drop down list control here. So add a drop down list control. so when you will add a drop down list you need to add the items so edit the items i am adding two item one for view 1 and one second for view 2 for the first view i am adding the text as calendar and the second item as login set its an auto post back property to true In the next step, you need to mention the value of this list item. As the active view index begins from zero, you need to set the first item value as zero and the second as one. Now, whenever the user will click on this selected item, it should display the active view index. So, set the multi view dot active view index property is equals to convert. dot two in thirty two drop down list one dot selected value. Now run the application. Check by default it's showing a calendar control because by default I set the active view index as zero. If now the user will change to login, it will set the value to login control. The value will be active index value will be one. So in this way. multi view control helps you to display multiple views together in a single web page thank you for watching and please subscribe our channel